Hi friends, it's Bible story time again, and we have one of my most favorite stories from the Spark Story Bible this week, because it's about kids like you. But before we can read today's story, we need to do our four actions to start our time together. Are you ready? Let's do them together. We begin in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, so today's story is called Jesus Blesses the Children. And there are two pages, so you're gonna to need to get your green wormy out so that we can find him on each page. But here's how this great story goes. Jesus traveled all over the land, telling people about the good news of God's love. One day, Jesus was talking to a large crowd. It seemed like there was always a crowd. And the children had to stand up on their tippy toes or sit on their parents' shoulders just to see Jesus. People were everywhere on the grassy hill, laughing and smiling and waiting for Jesus to tell them more about God. God loves you and you and you and you, Jesus said. He wants you to love other people too. So here's our first picture. There's Jesus talking to all the people and the kids are having a hard time seeing. They have to be up in front or up having a parent hold them so they can see and hear Jesus because they're not as lucky as the green wormy to be up close. Do you see the green wormy? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your wormy finger when you see the green wormy standing by Jesus. All right, let's see what happens. One mom said, I want my children to hear what Jesus is saying. Other parents wanted their children to hear Jesus too. So they moved closer and put their children down on the grass. One small boy tugged on the corner of Jesus' robe and Jesus turned around. Ah, Jesus said smiling, and he bent down to hold the hands of the children standing nearby. But the disciples scolded the parents. What do you think you're doing? Jesus is too important and too busy to talk to these children. Move your children back. When Jesus heard the disciples saying these words, he stood up and turned back to the grown-ups. What do you mean, Jesus said to the disciples? These children are as important to me as you are. So here's the picture. We have the little boy who's tugging on Jesus' robe and the disciples over here who are very angry at the parents for what they think is wasting Jesus' time with the children. But Jesus says, hold on, they are as important as the adults. Do you see the green wormy? When you see the green wormy, I want you to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your wormy finger right here. I think it's pretty great that Jesus thinks that kids are just as important as adults are. Let's find out the rest of the story. Jesus said, I want to bend down and look in their eyes and tell them about God's love too. Never stop anyone from coming to see me, especially children. Let the children come sit on my knee. Children like these are a part of God's big family too. Then Jesus knelt down to look each child in the eye. Come sit with me, Jesus said, and I will tell you about the love of God, my father. Jesus sat on the grass with all the children and told all of them about God and God's family. Then Jesus put his hand on everyone's head and blessed them saying, remember God and I love you just the way you are. Then Jesus stood up and said to all of the grown-ups, remember my words, whoever does not love God like a child won't be part of God's family. Oh, look at all those kids surrounding Jesus. Oh, I love it. And he put his head on each, his hand on each kid's head and said, Jesus loves you. Oh, I love that indeed. And here is our green wormy right there. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle on the page. And now it's time for us to pray, friends. Will you repeat after me? Dear God, thank you that you love adults and children and everyone. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, it was so fun to be with you today. I hope as you're done with Bible story time today, you will put your hand on someone's head and say to them, Jesus loves you. And I hope that someone will do that for you today as well, because Jesus does love you today and always, my little friends. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next time. Let's end the way we began. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you next time.